And that breaking news, federal investigators in Columbus right now looking into the cause of yesterday's deadly crash. Thanks a lot for joining us at 5. I'm Mike Dart. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Six people were killed in that crash, including three teenagers from an Ohio high school just outside of Akron. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live for us outside the Ohio State Highway Patrol Academy in Columbus, where a news conference just wrapped up. Hi, Karen. Yeah, Karen's mic is not working right now, so just to let you know, the NTSB and State Highway Patrol are conducting the investigations. We're now learning the crash might have stemmed from a backup from another crash that took place on I-70 about an hour earlier. Uh, we are on 70 and we're close to Columbus. We're about 18 miles out on 70 and it's a coach and we need help like a lot. There's a huge accident, fire. I mean, this semi truck just slammed into a bunch of cars. And this is just on the tail end of a huge backup that starts at Etna. Witnesses telling 911 dispatchers there was a backup at the time of that five vehicle crash yesterday morning. Again, six people died, three high school students from Tusky Valley local schools who were on the coach bus and three adults as well. They were also affiliated with the school, by the way, and they were following right behind the bus in an SUV. We just heard uh, when looking at this video, their SUV was actually behind the coach bus and in front of the semi that caught fire. Investigators today with the NTSB now arriving on the scene. The chairperson explaining where they begin the investigation. So Karen Johnson is out there. She'll be with us here throughout the next uh, 90 minutes or so. She says the NTSB should have a preliminary report ready maybe in the next couple of weeks, but the investigation likely, believe it or not, will take between 12 and 18 months to finish up. We'll have answers along the way and keep giving you updates.